Okay, let's talk about tracking student access of your Blackboard course. Um, now, I'm doing this recording in the uh, BB Sandbox environment that we have set up, but these exact same steps would work on production as well. Uh, the first thing you'd need to do is choose whichever class that you want to look up the student in. Uh, chances are you don't have a lot of overlap between your classes. I'm going to use one of the uh, Blackboard courses that I have for Blackboard training on the Sandbox system. So you go into the course as an instructor and on the control panel open up the evaluation section and that's going to be the two tools that we want to talk about. Um, there's both the simple and the complex way to track student access to your course. The simple way would be to just click into the performance dashboard and it would show you a list of all of the students in your class and in addition to a bunch of other information the last course access date which shows you actually the day and time of the last time the student actually had activity of any kind in your course. So if all you want to know is when's the last time that little Billy was in my course, uh, the performance dashboard will probably be good enough for you. Now if, on the other hand, what you want to know is did little Billy actually go into my class uh, on Blackboard between these certain dates and do anything more than just look at the announcements area or whatever, uh, that you want to get a little more detail on. And for that, we can go back under evaluation into the course reports section. Now this is a relatively new component in Blackboard and there's a whole bunch of pre-generated reports, but uh, the one that is probably going to be of most use to you, uh, for this case anyway, is the overall summary of user activity. All right. Now you just want to open up the little menu and say to run that report, overall summary of user activity, and it's going to ask you, well, what exactly you want. It, the very first thing to determine is which student you want to run. This select users box has a listing of all of the students in the course and so you would want to pick the student that you're looking up information on and then you're going to need to select the dates that you're looking for. So in this case what I'm going to look for specifically is user activity during the last intercession. Uh, so I'm going to cycle the calendar back to the end of December after the fall semester ended and then I'm going to set it for uh, to run until January uh, which would be about the beginning of this uh, spring semester that I'm recording it in right now and then I have a choice between what sort of format the report will be in so if you really wanted like something to dump into Excel it can do that for you but the default of PDF is probably good enough all right then you just hit submit. Now it can take some time to process the report uh, depending upon how much activity there was to analyze and uh, how much information, uh, how much of the date range it was. And then it's going to pop up a new window for you, which I have to move around and resize so we can see it here, um, that will tell you all of the details that it was able to dredge up. Now for starters, on this very first page, it gives you a pie graph and a whole lot of detailed information. Actually, I'm sure this list goes on to page two, in fact, uh, of the detailed information. But the very fact that it's bothered to draw a graph at all tells me that there was some user activity during that time period. And then it gives a little legend breakdown of the, like in this case, the chart says blue for content items. So I know that this student spent the majority of the time in the class looking at content. Uh, spent a little time working on email, spent some time in the discussion board, and a comparatively small amount of time looking at their own grades for the system. Um, and that's enough to tell me, in general, what they were doing in the course site. If what I'm looking for is the specific things that they did, that's when this detailed list might be useful. So I can see that they spent 
73.28% of time in the content area, but the fact that they went into email and uh, the discussion board tells me they didn't just look at one thing and go away. So if you needed to have proof that a student did something in your course during a certain time frame, that would do it for you right there. Uh, also, I wanted to show at the end of this list, there's a couple of pages that might give you some interesting information if you're trying to figure out when your student is using the course. In this case, this user uh, did most of their work on a Friday. Uh, it's kind of interesting to be able to see more than half of their work, actually, 52.91%. Uh, and so the tail end of the week is when the vast majority of work got done by this particular student. And then also, uh, the specific times of day that work got done, the, these are usually the last couple of pages in the report, but the uh, time of day will actually give you a 24-hour breakdown and the amounts of activity broken down by percentage that... Uh, stuff was done in. It's kind of interesting. Um, and then also there is you know, one or two pages up depending on the time frame that you used th a chart that will show you specifically which days the student did activity. So if that becomes important you can bring up and see well this student was in on December 22nd and 23rd and January 4th and January 6th but not the rest of the time. And then these two lines of data table here actually say that again in case you need the tabular data. Uh, but the reports are probably good enough. So should you ever have a need, and it's come up several times this semester that students or uh, instructors wanted to know this, uh, to be able to prove one way or the other that a student did something in a Blackboard course during a span of time, this is probably the best way to go about it.